the nature of the magnetic field depends on the geometry of the conductor geometry of the conductor means the conductor may be of straight conductor or circular conductor suppose i will consider a straight conductor carries a current then the shape of the magnetic field is or nature of the magnetic field is circular now i can consider a circular conductor this is a circular conductor carrying a current in clockwise direction then the nature of the magnetic field is straight inside the plane of the paper where i am writing so the cross indicates that the magnetic field is starting from outside to inside but it should be straight so cross indicates that the magnetic field is away away from you and if the conductor is here circular conductor and carries a current in anti clockwise direction then the nature of the magnetic field is straight but it should be upward towards you outward towards you perpendicular to the plane of the paper where i am writing it okay and why it is cross and dot it is cross and dot it is from the arrow if you take the arrow here this is an arrow the arrow back side looks like a cross so if the arrow is going away from you that indicate that cross if the arrow is coming towards you that indicates like or looks like it is dot so that is why we are using it here so if the current is clockwise direction the magnetic field is passing from outside to inside the coil so it indicates by cross here and if the current is in anti clockwise direction the current is in anti clockwise direction here and the magnetic field should be from outside to the inside towards you coming from other side of the coil to towards you okay now i will consider a straight conductor let me concentrate completely on a straight conductor carrying current to find out the shape of the magnetic field or nature of the magnetic field here there is a diagram you can see the rule from the rule only we are getting what is the nature of the magnetic field is it circular or straight and that rule is here thumb rule right hand thumb rule now i will consider the conductor this is a conductor carrying a current in the upward direction now to find out the nature of the magnetic field what to do you have to hold the conductor in the grip of your right hand such that the thumb should be pointing in the direction of current and the curled finger should indicate the direction of the magnetic field or the nature of the magnetic field here you see this is the magnetic field circular it may be many circular magnetic field you can see concentric circles in the form of concentric circles and the conductor should be at the center of this particular concentric circles so this rule is called as right hand thumb rule not only it is applicable for straight conductor this is applicable even for circular conductor but little change here what to do i will consider first this one this conductor carrying a current in anti clockwise direction so now i will erase it so here you have to imagine this is a conductor this is a circular conductor carrying a current in which direction the current is there maybe the current i will consider in 
anti-clockwise direction here. This is anti-clockwise direction. Like this, the current is flowing. Now, first you have to curl your finger in the direction of current. So the current is in this direction. Curl your finger in the direction of current. So where the thumb points, the thumb points upward. All right. So upward you are going to get like this. So this upward thumb indicates the direction of magnetic field. That is the shape of the magnetic field and nature of the magnetic field. So that is coming towards you. It is coming towards you means dot. You can be able to indicate dot. You are observing it from here. So dot. If somebody is observing it from here, for them it appears like the current is clockwise for them. If somebody is looking at it from the bottom of the conductor, for them it appears like the current is clockwise. If it is clockwise, for them it appears like it is going away from them. Away from them means for them it appears like cross. Okay, remember that. So, for straight conductor, the thumb indicates the direction of current and for circular conductor the curled finger indicates the direction of current okay now coming to the first one only the straight conductor so this is a straight conductor now this is a conductor it is carrying a current it's carrying a current in upward direction. So thumb indicates the direction of current and the remaining curled finger indicates the direction of magnetic field. But to find out the direction of magnetic field at any point, any point on this curled finger, imaginary circles these are. So at that particular point, if you draw a tangent, that tangent itself indicates the direction of magnetic field. Anyway, maybe here we put the point and I want to calculate the direction of magnetic field here. For that, what to do? You just draw a tangent. The tangent itself indicates the direction of magnetic field. Not only that one, if the direction of current is reversed, if the current is reversed, now you have to hold the conductor in grip in the grip of your right hand such that the thumb points in the direction of current thumb indicates the direction of current and curled finger the curled finger goes like this right and thumb will be pointing downward so this curled finger indicates the direction of magnetic field. So the magnetic field direction like this. Or you just reverse it. You just reverse or flip the diagram downwards such that the thumb should be pointing downward. Now I considered a circular coils. Two circular coils. Conductors. For circular coil carrying current, the magnetic field will be always straight. Just we studied that. So here there are two coils I have. And in one of the coil, the current is clockwise. So the current is in the clockwise direction. So, so clockwise like this, it is coming and going here. So what is the direction of magnetic field? You have to curl your finger in the direction of current and the thumb is pointing downward. Downward is represented by cross. Downward away from you, away from myself. That is indicated by dot across. 
and such a coil always behaves like south pole so it acts as a south pole like this so the current is flowing in a clockwise direction then face of the coil for me it appears like south pole that means if i bring any of the magnetic south pole towards it it always ripple so it is repelled by the south pole suppose if you bring the north pole towards it it always start attracting towards the north pole of the bar magnet that's what we observed it and even you can try at the home you can make a circular coil and pass the current in it maybe in clockwise direction and takes the south bar magnet towards it it always ripple and the north pole towards it it always attract now here one more coil is there but the current is flowing in it in anti clockwise direction so if the current is in the anti clockwise direction the phase of the coil behaves like the north pole so this is the north pole i am going to write right so the current is in the anti clockwise direction the phase of the coil behaves like a north pole again you can bring any of the magnet towards it north pole of the magnet towards it it always ripple so north north ripple there is like poles always ripple and like pole always attract that rule so you just imagine the coil is here maybe two persons were standing one is here and one is here and the current is flowing only in one direction in this in this particular direction you are observing and for this person person a it appears like the current is in which direction it is clockwise direction for him for him it is clockwise so for him it appears like south pole and one more person is standing this side for him it appears like it is anti clockwise direction the current is flowing in the anti clockwise direction for person b it appears like anti clockwise therefore for him it appears like north pole so the same coil one coil carrying a current in one particular direction but for two different persons it acts as both north pole and south pole therefore just a coil carrying current acts as a magnet south pole for him and north pole for this particular person b so if you consider any coil carrying current that just acts as a bar magnet bar magnet is nothing but magnetic dipole this is a magnetic dipole so remember this point later we are using it so circular coil always acts as a magnetic dipole or a bar magnet okay then what is magnetic field so these magnetic field always comes from a charge if the charge is just stationary if the charge is not at all moving anywhere such a charge produces only the electric field around that suppose the same charge it is moving such a charge produces not only electric field it produces the magnetic field also then what is magnetic field the magnetic field means 
the space surrounded by a magnet. Suppose I consider a magnet here, North Pole and South Pole is there. The space surrounded by this magnet or I have a conductor which is here and which is carrying a current. The space surrounded by a current carrying conductor. In both of these space, if you place any iron material or any of the magnetic materials, it always feels a force. Iron material here also, it always feels a force. And such a field, such a space is called as magnetic field. That is called as magnetic field. So, what is magnetic field? The magnetic field is a space around a magnet or a current carrying conductor around which the magnetic effects can be experienced. That is called as magnetic field. So, the magnetic field is always denoted by letter B. We will use a capital B. We are going to use. And this magnetic field is a vector quantity. It has a direction. It has a direction. We will see what is the direction of magnetic field later. You have some idea about that in earlier class. And its SI unit is Tesla or Weber per meter square. Weber per meter square. And one more unit is also there for the magnetic field that is called as Gauss. And how, the, how does this Tesla and Gauss depends? One Tesla is equal to 10 to the power 4 Gauss. So Tesla is a bigger unit than a Gauss.